And at the moment you're saying uh, you won't deal with it, that uh, you'll stick with what you're stuck with. And uh, despite the uh, continuing pressure from the public for it to be dealt with and rising pressure from within your own ranks, uh, you're saying you won't deal with it. Well, Jim, let me be very clear on this. I'm saying that I will deal with it, that the party will deal with it, but we will deal with it with the mandate that the people of Australia gave us. If we live in a democracy, and we do clearly live in a democracy, but if that is to have any meaning whatsoever, we have elections, we take policies to those elections, and the parliament should respect the will of the people. Now, the government was given a mandate by the public to have this issue decided by a plebiscite, decided by the people at a plebiscite. I don't think it is an unreasonable proposition if elections to, are to have any meaning and if the democracy in this country is to have any meaning that the government's mandate be respected on this issue. My advice is to the Senate to pass the legislation that the Australian people yeah, gave not, the that's government not happen. That's not going to happen, Jason Felensky. But, but Jim, why no, is it not going to happen? Why is it well, not because happen? Well, because there's not a majority there. But why isn't there a majority? Why is it that the Liberal Party needs to well, change its Because you don't have a majority. The government doesn't I, have a majority. I, I understand that. But why is it that the Liberal Party needs to change its views on this issue, but the members of the Senate don't need to um, comply with the views of the Australian public, which were expressed so freely at the last election, which was less than, well, which was just over a year ago? OK, let's move on to another issue. In